Well, folks, here I am uh, in the New Hampshire woods once again. I'm on a little trek. Uh, beautiful day, real good air quality, nice and quiet. Just loving it. After all the uh, issues in New York with the trees and plant life dying off, you know, it really took the wind out of my sails. And uh, I just had to come here and uh, take some time to reset my internal compass, which I am. I'm happy to see that the uh, loss of plant life here is minimal. I'm seeing a few maples in peril, but nothing at all like what I was witnessing in New York. I'm thankful for that. So anyway, I'm out on the trek here. Take you all with me and uh, give you some happier footage to watch after my last one. But I had to share my findings with you all last time, my last vid there. There's a lot going on. <laughs> but people just need to open your eyes and uh, pay attention to what's going on with the planet, you know? Anyway, I'm uh, out on a trek here with Frankie. Probably going to walk about four miles or so this morning, do some filming, and just suck it up. Yeah, so here we go. these old foundations out in the forest here you know I would have really liked to seen this area back in those days this is a real pretty spot here must have been just a beautiful little homestead um, this one's about a little over a mile off of the pavement of course there wasn't any pavement in those days um, it's just a beautiful landscape here. Big old ash tree over there. Yeah. You know, anytime I come across these old foundations, I can't help but get like a little dreamy, you know, and think about what it was like a couple hundred years ago to live up in this forest. I mean, you think about how we complicate things nowadays. Look at the expense and all the issues and permits and garbage we go through just to put a place up now. And, uh, back then, they want to put a foundation in, they dug a hole. They did it by hand. And they used the materials they had on hand, and they used that to the stones and everything they dug out, you know, and they built their foundation. And they lived their whole life here, you know. Of course, it's not as good as a concrete foundation, but they used what they had. They didn't pay for the rock. They dug the hole by hand and put it in. And it last your whole life. Uh, I would have loved to see this landscape back in those days. Everything's in horse and wagon. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can't help but getting a little nostalgic on these old homesteads like that. Look at these old bricks here. Old bricks. Huh? How long ago 
how long ago it was that some guy worked in a brick plant, a little foundry or whatever it was, and made these bricks. Uh, how many years ago it was the guy probably worked for 10 cents a day or whatever, you know? Yeah, I know, just cool stuff. Interesting, this nugget here has this line, different composition in the rock. And it's like an even two inches all the way around the perimeter, which is pretty interesting. Is that interesting to you? <laughs> My dad always said, nature will provide you with everything you need, and he was right. I needed a comfortable place to have my lunch and I found one. Equipped with a nice back rest and it was up off the ground so I wouldn't get a wet ass. Frankie even settled into a good vantage point where he could catch my overflow. He's learned that from experience, don't you know? We'll have to remember this spot for the next time we come through. The old birch tree here clinging to that stone. Once upon a time a little birch seed fell right there. And it took hold, and it looks like she's there to stay. It's a, I always like stuff like that. Look at this little fella here. When God created this one, he probably said, you move so slow that I'll put your house right here on your back for you. That way you never have to worry about making it home before dark. <laughs> Nature is an interesting place when you just take the time to observe it. I prefer to live my life to a slower pace than the masses. If I can't take the time to grind my coffee and indulge in a hearty breakfast because I had to rush off to make money, well, <laughs> I'd say it's clearly evident that my choice of lifestyle has cost me a bit too much. Now you don't need a fancy toaster when you have an iron fry pan. Don't need electricity either. The old wood burner makes a fine breakfast and Frankie will certainly attest to that. He enjoys it so much he'll even step up to the plate and volunteer for the pre-wash cycle. <laughs> oh, I'd say this kettle of water should be up to temp and ready for dishes by the time we return. But for now, we've got a trail to catch. It's a beautiful day and we plan to make the most of it. <laughs> 